guys, welcome to the video. Today we're talking about electric drums versus acoustic drums for churches in 2022. As a drummer and a live sound engineer, I've always looked at electric drums as something that I didn't really like. Uh, I didn't like the look of them on stage. I didn't like the way they felt. I didn't like the way they that I could get the sound. I couldn't get the sound that I wanted. But I think that's all changing nowadays. And we get asked by our clients of small to medium sized churches, can we use electric drums in our space? And will it sound okay? Will, will our drummers be okay with it? I think that's a great question to be asking. And we definitely are shifting in the last few years towards that being more of a reality. And that we're not here to say that electric drums are for everyone, and we're not here to say that you should definitely buy electric drums over acoustic drums. Acoustic drums still have their place, but we're just gonna go over the things that we think are beneficial to smaller churches or uh, churches who are just getting started out, or maybe you're a, a mobile church, and there's a reason that electric drums could benefit you in the long run. One of the first reasons I'd recommend electric drums for a church is if you have a small to medium sized room that isn't very well treated and you're wanting to have more control over your drum set and your mix, this is where electric drum set really helps you have full control over the sound that you're getting out of the drum set and your drummer doesn't have to be stuck in a cage or behind a shield and feeling really closed off from the congregation or feeling closed off from the rest of the band. And as a drummer, I totally understand that feeling and I've been able to, to experience both sides of that and being able to not have a shield in front of you, it really makes you feel more a part of what's happening on stage and in the room. One of the second reasons I would recommend electric drums is the consistency of tone and sound. You don't have to worry about maintenance of the drums and mic placement, and you know that when you walk up to the console, you are gonna get the same tones and the same sounds that you're used to week to week, and not having to worry about if someone bumped the mic or if you have to change the EQ because the drum got tuned differently this week, but it's a lot more consistency overall. One of the third reasons I would recommend electric drums is for if you have volunteer sound guys who maybe aren't as confident in their mixing abilities or someone who doesn't necessarily think that they are a sound engineer, they can walk up and you can have the drums coming down a stereo pair of channels or even a mono channel to where it's just one fader and everything's pre-mixed on the drum set and then they feel more confident in their mix at front of house. Don't get me wrong, this takes a little bit of setup up front on the drum set, making sure that your levels are even between your toms and your kick and snare and cymbals. Getting all that stuff done at the drum set before it goes to the, the console. But once it's done, it's easy for your guy to, to walk up or and just push up a fader and mix it with the rest of the band. And the fourth reason I would recommend electric drums for a church is if you strike your stage a lot and clear it off for events and you don't want any instruments on your stage, if you have a drum cage and a shield and a lid and microphones and all the things stands inside, it's a lot more work to have to move that off your stage than if you were to have just an electric drum set with no shield, no, no cage, no microphones, it's just the drum set and you just take it off, you move it, you still have to unplug things, you still have to rewire it, but it's a whole lot easier and simpler than having a drum cage on your stage. Like I was mentioning earlier, acoustic drums are still the best option out there. They sound the best and they feel the best for the drummer, but we're just trying to offer good reasons why you would go electric drums in certain scenarios for churches who struggle with getting good tone out of their acoustic sets, or maybe they struggle with the overall volume of the drum set and the cymbals in their room. We're really wanting to show the difference between electric and acoustic and trying to close that gap on how different they sound and perceived value of what it is that you're getting. 
We took the electric drum set over to a local church and we set it up with an acoustic drum set next to it. We played some tracks. We had a few drummers come out and play the drums side by side and we got their feedback on what they thought. So let's go ahead and listen to a couple blind sound samples and you can try to figure out which one is the electric kit and which one's the acoustic kit and then we'll watch back with the video and we'll show you what one was which and how they sounded together. Could you tell the difference between the electric drums and the acoustic drums? I think they sound really close and with some good EQ, a compression, and a little reverb, I think you can get them sounding really good in your mix. Let's go ahead and listen to the feedback we got from the drummers and the sound engineer who helped work on this project. I mean, it's probably the best electric kit I've played the, from the field and just the overall control you can have over it. but. It's not the same as acoustic, I would say. I mean, I definitely would say acoustic first, but for the purpose of noise reduction, stage volume, um, obviously all the sounds you can play with it, you can get a lot of the samples out of it, so that's really nice. Um, I would definitely be, I would play it again for sure, uh, especially if it like, helps the rest of the team and the, the audience be able to get a good sound so I think it's definitely it's got electric drums have come a long way from in this perspective yeah I would say for me too it's definitely the best electric kit I've played especially just in like dynamics being able to play really quiet and play really loud on it and it respond that well um, is pretty great uh, yeah I think for me like one of the questions I would answer is like if I went to a new church and wanted to play drums for them and this was their kit, would I still want to join the team? Um, and I would say, yeah, I liked it. Um, and again, for like a smaller room, especially if you don't have room for like a full cage, um, it's really nice. It's easy to set up. 
Uh, there's a lot less wiring that goes on with it, um, and it sounded good. So uh, I really liked it. It is really, really hard to beat a real kit, uh, but it was it was good. I liked it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say front of house perspective, like mixing it. Yeah, from front of house, I would say like it's definitely not. It's I would say that. 80 to 90 percent there and if you did more tweaking maybe introduced other samples or whatever you could probably get it pretty much 100 percent there other than the fact that it's just not a real acoustic kit so <laughs> um yeah i would say as long as you're splitting out everything out to your own sections as a mixer that you can just manipulate and be able to control you should be pretty set and for a small church uh, you know, set it would work really well because you're not getting any simple bleed, especially for churches that aren't acoustically treated. I like any church that doesn't have good acoustic treatment, symbols just everywhere, it hurts everywhere, and you can't do anything about it. So, for situations like that where you don't have the money to acoustically treat or anything like that, you get that kit and it works perfectly for what you need. And no simple bleed in the mics. When you're doing multi-track recording, you're going to be pretty flawless and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's a overall an amazing, amazing kit. Yeah, same thing they said. I said everything. I think the feel of a real kit is hard to beat because you're getting a lot of. Dy I played a lot of diddles. It's on electric kick, but I think it it felt great. Kicks, snare, comps felt really good. Um, for beginner drummers, it'd be perfect, right? Because they can just bang out and you can control the volume. Um, what else? I like the look of it too. It looks like a real kit. Yeah, I think that's awesome. Real. Yeah, I yep. think that's awesome. Mm -hmm. that's really um, cool. Other than that, yeah, I thought it was great. I thought it was really good. That was a good idea too. Like about like people who are just starting. Like if they were if they were to find a kit that they would like want at their home, especially parents who are like annoyed at loud kits and stuff. Yeah. They would probably want to get this one because it sounds great, feels great, feels like a real one. So your transition from you know that to a real one isn't going to be like this drop off of like this doesn't feel like my electric kit at home. Right. You're going to go from right this onto a real kit. And it's going to feel pretty similar. Yeah. So you're going to play just good. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. I'd like to say thank you to the guys who came out and give their feedback on these drums. This is the F Note 7 drum set that we're using in this video. I'd like to thank F Note for sending us a demo kit for us to try out. I'll put a link in the description down below where you can purchase these kits, or we will also link to F Note's website where you can check out their whole lineup and see what one would be best for you. Thank you for watching this video. We really hope that this was informative and helps you make your decision moving forward.